Hey guys, welcome back to Smokestacks. Have you ever had one of those days where just everything goes wrong? No matter what you do, everything goes wrong. Man, it's the day I'm having. <coughs> Pardon me. I set up my camera uh, to do my video and uh, for some reason, um, it keeps shutting on and shutting off. It keeps saying there's something wrong with my card, this, that, and the other. And, um, or my card's too slow. And You know, it's just... So anyhow, I have my other camera set up. Um, um, my 70D, my Canon 70D. And that's what I'm using right now. So I hope the the quality of the video uh, is just as good uh, as uh, with my uh, my M50. So anyhow, um, <laughs> as I was recording my last video, the camera decided to shut off, and I just opened this tin of Odyssey GLP's Odyssey. So. Um, We'll give it a shot, see how it is. It smells real leathery. Ooh, finely ribbon cut, a fine ribbon cut. Mmm, that smells delicious. The moisture content seems to be just about perfect. Just about perfect. I've never tried peas, or uh, not peas, but uh, Odyssey. So this will be a treat for us both. And I'm pissed off about that camera. Because <laughs> I've spent all morning, you know, screwing with it. And I finally I just said that's enough and dug out my trusty Canon 70D. Okay, so. I'm gonna be smoking this in the duck. And uh, so I'm not gonna need a whole bunch. This looks like it was a flake that's been rubbed out because there's chunks of pressed flake. I don't know if you can see that or not. But yeah. It's... Anyhow. And you know, I'm using a a, a lens that I normally use for portraits. Um, <laughs> so uh, I think it's a 55 100, or no, an 18 100. So yeah, you might hear it in the video. You might hear the autofocus a little bit. It was one of the first lens I bought. So. Uh, you know how expensive lenses are so <laughs> this one wasn't that expensive that's why you may hear it and like I said we're going to be smoking it in the duck now I went on tobaccoreviews.com and uh, um, got some info on um, Odyssey. You know what? This isn't even the right one. This is for Barbary Coast. I ain't worth a damn. We'll just have to go <laughs> off of my review.
Wow, that's good. Mmm, really good. That was pleasantly surprising. I haven't smoked a fire in a week or so. And uh, I just haven't had the time to really sit back and relax and enjoy it by myself, you know. And, uh, man, that was really good. That's really delightful. I must say, a real pleasure to smoke. Odyssey is huge. The, the biggest of the peas blends is loaded with Latakia, harmonized by exotic orientals. Wonderful red and jet black stove Virginias provide a perfect counterpoint. And they ain't lying, man, that is good. It's blended perfect. There's not one overpowers the other. really smooth, earthy, rich. Just a slight sweetness. Just damn fine. I mean, really good. It kind of reminds me um, a little bit of Westminster, but it's, I think it's better than Westminster, to tell you the truth. It's uh, smoother, a little bit more richer. That blend of Orientals and uh, the stove to Virginia is just excellent together. Really nice. <coughs> Pardon me. You know what kills me is <laughs> I can't make a video without coughing. And if I wasn't making a video, I wouldn't be coughing. Um, <laughs> I was down at uh, my local tobacconist last weekend and uh, me and my son Daniel and my wife went in there and um, I just happened to hit it at the right time. Now I'm going to set this up for you. We did some looking around, some browsing and uh, I've got enough pipes. I don't. I don't need to buy any more pipes. And um, I was checking out tobacco. Well, they used to be a huge supplier of McClellans. I mean, they had uh, three shelves that are just full of McClellans years ago. Since then, it's like they've just sold out of pretty much everything in a tin. And it switched to bulk. And uh, 
they had one shelf full. The other ones were pretty much empty. And on this top shelf was nothing but Samuel Goloth. I couldn't believe it. So I snagged this. That's right, some squadron leader. I've never had it, never tried it. Now I know you guys are gonna jump all over me and say, but you haven't had the original, this, that, and the other. Well, I know I haven't. And obviously I'm not gonna be able to get to try the original. So this is gonna be my next biggest thing. But I've heard you guys carry on about it. So I grabbed this tin. And now when I went up to the counter to pay for it, display case is where uh, the tobacco on us, you know, you, uh, you know how, how it works, you know, they, they got their, their bolt tobacco behind you, you tell them what you want, you know, they get it down, weigh it out, and bag it up for you. Okay, well I was standing there and I was looking at the different tobacco blends and on top of this display case there is a pipe stand, two-tier pipe stand, to the left of me. And uh, there was some magazines and what have you leaned up against that pipe stand. So you really couldn't see, I thought there was pipes in that. And normally, you know, they have tester pipes up there. And um, I moved those magazines over and what did I see setting in that pipe stand? It's Pembroke, Esotericus Pembroke. I about had a heart attack, you know. Nobody had seen, and this was the only can in the whole store. Okay, what else? Vulcan Sobrano. I could not believe it. They were hidden there. And I asked him, I said, are, are these testers? Is that why you have them? Have they been opened? He said, no, they're sealed. I just stuck them there a day or two ago and forgot all about them. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. So yeah, I snagged these. You know, can you believe it? Because you can't get these on on any of the the uh, pipes and cigars or four noggins or any of that. If they're always sold out. And you know how this stuff is, man. You can never find it either. The squadron leader, I haven't been able to find it. So, yeah, I scored. For once. <laughs> I scored. You know, I was tickled. So, there you go. That was my trip. This is good stuff, though. Yep, this Odyssey, highly recommended, especially if you are a bees person, GLPs person, you're going to love this. It's great. I mean, really good. I actually have a bunch of sealed uh, tins of peas downstairs, a bunch, and uh, but most of them are uh, flakes and um, and uh, cubes. And um, I just grabbed this one because it wasn't. I'm down to small jars, and when I open a tin. If I'm not going to smoke it right away, I put them in jars, you know, and seal them back up. So I just happened to grab this one, and I'm glad I did, because this is delicious. Yeah, GLP's knocked it out of the park with this. Mm -mm -mm. So that's it, man. 
If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. Um, weather's going to be changing. Watch your driving, man. You know how it is. You get, you're so used to driving in the summertime, and now we're getting all this wet weather, and people still want to drive like they're, you know, like it's the middle of summer. Um, that's about it. I can't think of anything else. Um, to all my family and friends, I miss you guys. Um, I got a new grandson that's expected in December. And uh, I'm excited about that. Um, you know these new 3D uh, imaging on... Uh, um, what the hell is those scans they can take, you know, of a woman's belly and you can see the baby and all that. Well, now they do that in 3D and it is freaky, man. I mean, you can see their face and the skin and everything, you know, it's just, you're like, wow, that just totally blows your mind. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sonogram, I think it is. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah, something new. Technology blows your mind. Um, well, that's it, man. You know how you, know, you guys know how I am. I, I say, well, that's it, that's it, and I end up rambling on for another twenty minutes. <laughs> um, you know what it is? Is I, I just I miss uh, visiting and. Um, talking to you guys and uh, I don't want to close out <laughs> and then I end up running away over on my time so and then I end up editing <laughs> you know cutting it down and this that and the other and, oh well what do you do <laughs> okay this time I'm gonna get out of here and you know what I don't have a my remote does not work on that camera it is set up for my M50 so I've got to get up and shut the camera off myself so that's it I'm out of here y'all have a good weekend we'll see ya